exercise bulldog held by the Royal Air Force with planes from the United States, France, Holland and Belgium taking part was certainly among the most comprehensive air maneuvers ever held. Every aspect of defense and attack was thoroughly tested. Here, night bomber crews are being briefed for a mock raid. The target are the lock gates of the Royal Victoria Lock. Your form of bombing will be simulated attacks using F-24 vertical cameras. The Lincolns took off to plaster their imaginary targets with camera bombs. All the way, they were to come under attack from fighters and ground defences along the European coast. Mr. Arthur Henderson, our Secretary of State for Air, flew in an American B-50. The mass daylight attacks by fortress crews were among the most spectacular of the war. Now the boys are back with super and even super super force. As you'd expect, the Observer Corps were working at full pressure, keeping headquarters informed of enemy movements. The oncoming formations must have reminded them, as they did us, of the war days. On airfields up and down the country, fighters were being prepared to deal with the raiders. These are vampires flown by a French squadron. Not every operation was concluded without loss um, of dignity. Dutch pilots had their game interrupted. He's got a winner there, all right. And in an unbelievably short space of time, their meteors were airborne. Airfields were among targets, duly pranged, and only very active work by the crews can deal with low-level attacks like this. <laughs> Meanwhile, the bomber boys were pressing on in spite of determined attacks from meteors. In fact, every bomber which set off on a mission was given a very rough passage with the fighters pulling no punches. results came flowing into GHQ. The AOC and C Bomber Command, who was in charge of the exercise, Air Marshal Sir Aubrey Elwood, kept an expert eye on things. It was a practical and useful display of air power. What's the atom bomb got to do with it? Well, you never know.